Into Space Bar and welcome to the wish list for 2024-2025 offseason. Um, so I'm going to react to my predictions over the next two, three weeks. As I will be dropping my um, free agent predictions on Monday as free agency officially opens. Free agency technically has opened, but players cannot sign with a new team till Monday. So, um, yeah, so uh, I'm, I have a, I have my, basically I have my list done, but is a couple of players that my exercise the options with a team, like, um, sorry, um, like Reese Hoskins, and then, it just has an office team in Brewers, so he got to come on this and put in another player, so, anyways, back to the main topic. So all over what the party needs are, and the players got free agency status by those needs are. But could can could hit could can hit trade market as most of the moves the last year came via trade market, but I can't predict the trades because I don't know what players are available. So, because, uh, yeah, because we don't know, so, yeah. And then I have other worthless items. So let's go over the needs. Donnie Pissing help. We need one frontline starter to play so much go and one back end starter. Okay, I, I, I want to say this. Yes, we have... Three stars in King Dollars and Seas. But um as we saw with the Thunder World series Dollars almost lost that series. It could have lost that series if the Yankees didn't blow up. Then it's soak away because the daughter didn't have four healthy tiny pitches. So, yeah, so having four health, four good, four healthy, good tiny pitches is equivalent. And the parties don't have that. So, um, okay, starting left field up, four parties of reason. Uh, and then DA starts first base. Is Kevin AC at the S we need from you say the party are looking for a DA slash for space man? And then starting kiss up. Kyle Hurricane Oka is free agent, so we don't really have a starting kiss up. Ruiz Camposano, I guess it's right now, but do we really, really want to have Camposano after he struggled and lost his job to Higiyasi Oka last year? Um, so yeah. Frontline starters to replace Musco with. Max Reed, probably drafted, uh, uh probably traded, traded Reed to the Braves like 10 years ago. Um, so we need feedback. We could have feedback. Blake Snell, Blake Snell, just uh, like a Twenty minutes ago, officially exercised his off. Up to that, play off until he's free agent. Play snow. I want to mind bringing snow back. He was great for us. Uh, he wants to come back. So, and the third is Paul Barnes. He's beautiful dropping because they're all concerned, but honestly, he can be a fall. Okay, he's not gonna be. He's not gonna. He's not. Going to come in and be a one or two. He will really come in and be a ball. 
people. Back in stories, Michael London coming off the Suguna multi forward, going Wilkie Sasaki, Sasaki, another one. Um, and I'm not going to make a list for death starters because they will most likely be in El Paso, San Antonio, as so. Yeah, we don't really need them. Around like this whole world for God that we could be interested in. But starting the field joking football. You had a career year last year. We lost San Diego. We love probably love him, so I wanna mind bring him back. If Papa does go elsewhere, Anthony Sanson did. Um yeah, he's a great back. We can have him in the lineup. Third is Tommy Pham. I love Pham. Um, he he will be he be really still be cheap. I think. I really feel good back to have. D H at first base. Anthony Santander. I know I saw him for the field, but he also plays first base, so he can be D H. Uh, Justin Turner. If we don't sign, if Santa goes elsewhere, or he's came over here to be the left fielder, bring us a ton of to be good back and hit home runs or down. Um, yeah, and then Paul Goldman, he had a bat off back season last year, but he's older, so I can and. Besides Santander, two or two or three these three baths they can become bench baths if Leon Leo Devies comes up and makes a um makes a debut. You can start a like slide an infield one box away, so um Donald Kessler, Ka Kyle Higashioka, again, who loves San Diego, probably the him. Danny Jensen, a good catcher. Gary Sanchez, another good catcher. These are the, those are the players, four of the feelings I will want the players to go after to fill their need on the agent market as. Our farm system is kind of weak right now, so and so I expect her to really fulfill the needs on a free agent market. So I see other wishes I want to see happen. Extending Jackson Rowe, he's gonna win most likely win work of the year. Extend Luke Ryan, he's next season. The next DG and welcome to Tyler San Diego. Extend Michael King. Um, primarily is because next year, 2026, is we have one starter that's an ace. His must go will be, I don't know how much will I must go in 2026. So, and our fourth is to leave Luis Campesano. I think we can get value for him because Ethan size is coming up. So we have any of three catches I mentioned. He they will probably sign the backup ball. So yeah, I and we have we have Sullivan who's a lefty, so I think he can fulfill a backup catcher and when we we play Luis we can Get someone. Um, that's all. So my free agent predictions, like I said, we got on Monday. As I get more clarity. Um, so, yeah. Um, and again, my player predictions. I think I did my player predictions the final week. And my free agent. Uh, no. Season predictions for fun 
week. So that's all I have for you today. Apologies. See you guys on Monday.